Good morning, guys. Welcome to the final countdown of the year. It's the final coffee and talkie of 2021. And I'm really proud to say, aside from breaks for the holiday, we've been very consistent with our Warrior Wednesdays and Coffee and Talkie Fridays to a point where I'm like, did we really just do this? Did we really just crush it and make it to the end of the year? I'm extremely, extremely excited for what's to come. And um, I just want to say, first of all, before we go into this, thank you to all of you guys that are on today. And thank you for all of you guys that have consistently been on Coffee and Talkies and Warrior Wednesdays are trainings that are for you and for me as well, because, you know, I can always learn from everybody. But your consistency and your showing up um, really plays a huge, huge part in your success and your sexy business. So I really appreciate you guys' time throughout the year, and I really hope to bring you a much greater level of success and a lot more elevated training into the new year. So let's talk about our topic today. So our topic today is going to be a three part, maybe four part, maybe five, depending on who wants to talk, which I'm going to encourage all of you guys to talk um, and share a little bit at the end. But um, we're going to be talking a lot about what you can do with what you've done in 2021 and how you can carry yourself into success and pivot yourself into that successful 2022. Um, we've got two assigned guest speakers today for sure. We've got Whitney Joy, who is a director, and we have Chelsea Howie. I hope I don't butcher your name. One day you're just gonna have to like voice memo me the correct pronunciation because I don't know if I ever get it right. Um, Honestly, but, I'm used to it, so you can pronounce it however you want. Oh gosh, no, I wanna get it right. <laughs> I want to get it right, um, but uh, <clears throat> let's let's do a little recap first. I'll start off with our recap. Today, I did some thinking about exactly how I was going to present this training, um, and I really had to do some deep thinking about what my 2021 looked like from start to finish, and I will tell you this. When I first started with 2021, I or even before 2021, the end of 2020, I was like, 2021 is going to be different. 2021 is going to be my year. 2021 is going to be the year that I double my income. I double or triple my team size. I'm going to recruit 50 people. I'm going to hit annual sales and annual mentor before the end of the season, maybe even in the middle of the season. I'm going to rock it out. And then I didn't. <laughs> and then I let myself down and then I didn't move. And I'm, I'm not saying this is like, this is okay, pity party, Melanie. But there were a lot of things that happened in 2021 that I did not expect. Okay. Um, I moved. My husband was away from me for six months. I had all the kids here with me. Um, there was so many things going on. I had two surgeries. Um, I mean, there's a lot that hit me. My depression hit really hard. Um, mental health just took a complete toll on me. And I stopped training. I stopped going live. I stopped doing Zooms. I stopped doing a lot of things that I consistently did. I stopped recruiting because I felt like I didn't have anything to give to people, okay? I, I tell you all this because I want you guys to understand that no matter what you say right now, you have to be prepared to handle what's going to come. Because we can say every day that this is going to be the year. I mean, how many, how many of us have said uh, 2022? Maybe you already said this. I know I have. There's a yoga mat behind me, okay? I said this is going to be the year that I do yoga. Maybe. As long as I'm consistently coming in here and doing it you know, or maybe you got um, yourself a gym membership and you said, this is going to be the year that I get fit because I got a gym membership or you got a Peloton. This is going to be the year that I get fit because I got a Peloton. Okay. I did the same thing. I got a Peloton <laughs> to say that I didn't hop on it <clears throat> because I didn't want to. Isn't the truth. I didn't have it for six months, but I've had it for like two months and I haven't gotten on it, but I did have surgery. So there's that. And I did try to get on it, but uh, the cord's missing. So yay. But anywho, <clears throat> the reason I'm saying this isn't to bash your goals, but I want you to realize that with every single thing that we say, all these things that we want, 
there has to be an action that comes along with it. Um, so that's why we're having this coffee and talking this morning, because we want you guys to know what you can put in your tool belt, what you can carry in your arsenal that's going to allow you to go from, this is just what I want, and this is going to be what I do. Does that make sense? Hopefully you guys didn't take that as a, it's okay to have a crappy year, blah, blah, blah. We'll just, you know, maybe next year. Yeah, it's okay to have a crappy year, guys, um, but don't stay there. Whatever happened, whether you thought this year was gonna be the best year of your business, and it turned out to be the opposite, or maybe this year was the best year of your business for real. Um, no matter what happened in the past, we only, we only learn from the past, okay? There's nothing wrong with failures because really there's nothing, it's not a failure, it's just a learning curve. Um, but how we learn from it, how we move forward. So you have to let go of things in your previous season that you may or may not have done. And this will be the final, mark my word, this will be the final time that I sit here and go on and on about the, the fact that I didn't recruit as much this year, or the fact that I didn't do my trainings, or the fact that I, what did it, this is gonna be the final time that I revisit that chapter. I just wanted to recap so that I can say it and let it go. And that's what I want you guys to do at the end of your training is to recap on what you did or didn't do in your 2021 business and let it go. Your business is not just a business. It's going to be a business of seasons. It's going to be trials and errors. Um, it's going to have your ups and downs, but how you handle your season of your business is extremely, extremely important. Um, and you can do something or, you know, a lot of people do nothing because they're stressed or um, you feel like you hit a dead end or <clears throat> maybe you really are going through it in your mind and you're like, I can't do this. But trust and believe that I believe in you and I know your team believes in you too. There's so much that you can do. You just first have to register and realize what's going on. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do also today is think about, this is what we're going to do to take you into the new year, to catapult you into the new year. I want you guys to think about what it is in your business that you've done this year, or maybe you haven't done this year because you really don't like doing it. What is something in your business that you don't like doing? Okay. I'm, I'm hitting a lot of negatives, but there's a point to this, but I mention things that we don't like doing because I feel like there's a lot of people who don't work their business to the fullest because you think that you have to do all of these things that you don't like to do that. And I know Whitney Joy is going to hit on this too. You don't even have to do. She'll probably talk into all that. Like you don't need to worry about this, but um, there's a lot of things that people assume in our Cincy business that we need to do in order to be successful. Therefore, we don't do them, period. Or maybe you do them because you feel like you have to do it, but then you're disappointed because you're doing things that you absolutely hate doing. And then I want you to write down sometime today, what things do you love doing in your Cincy business? What are some things that you absolutely love, can't get enough of, want to do all the time? Write that down. Yes, it's going to sound very cliche. Do more of that. Go back and look at your things that you don't like to do in your Cincy business. And I want you to ask yourself, what is it about this task that I don't like? Some people might say, I don't like messaging a lot of people. I don't like having to cold message people or, you know, blah, 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 spam people. I don't like to do that either. And that's part of recognizing behaviors and tactics that I hated when I first started my Cincy business that I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. A lot of guys, um, a lot of you guys don't know this. Maybe some of y'all do. You've heard me say it. When I joined Cincy, I was completely like anti MLM. I was like, I hate network marketing. Nope. I've done it before. Uh, I sold like one mascara. Uh, yeah, I wasn't successful and I didn't want to do all the cold messaging. I hated when I got inboxed a million and five things. And I was like, oh, 
man, just get a real job. That's what I was thinking in my head. I mean, I was so not, yeah, I, I was mean. I was not there. And um, I decided to do Scentsy. Why? Because I loved blueberry cheesecake. I don't care what anybody says. That's the OG scent for me. It is amazing. Um, and there's a reason why it's still like one of the top fragrances. So <laughs> if you're not team blueberry cheesecake, I'm sorry. But uh, blueberry cheesecake, I loved it. And I realized that I, like, I went years without buying blueberry cheesecake because I really didn't like, um, the idea of buying from complete strangers, um, that never showed any kind of appreciation to my orders. How many of you guys have ordered from your friends, direct sales companies, and you got nothing back? No, thank you. No acknowledgement, no checking in on you to see how your order was, no follow-up, nothing. And you're like, dang, I just put money in your pocket. And then you didn't even thank me. I could go to Walmart or Target and buy me a bar of wax, or I can go to Walmart and Target and buy me mascara and get cheaper mascara and more appreciation. I mean, or the same amount, just a receipt and just, you know, have a good day. Um, so I didn't buy it because of that. And then one of my girlfriends started selling it and I was like, well, heck yeah. Cause I know you and I like you and I want more. And I finally, like, it clicked. I was like, you can do this. You can do this business, but differently. Nobody says that you have to do it and be tacky. Nobody says that you have to cold message people. Nobody says that you can't have a relationship with people and be honest about the products that you love. So I started doing just that. I quit the idea. And then, yes, I did. When I first started, I will admit, I did send out a million and five messages. And I cringe cringe going back. And if you've not done that in like the last year, if you just joined Sensi or maybe you've been with me for a couple of years, go back in time and look at how far you've come because I can go back and be like, why did you do that? And now it's like a completely different way of talking to people. Um, people are people. They're not dollar signs, you know? Um, but anyway, so we talked about letting go of the things that you don't like doing, realizing what you don't like doing and realizing why you don't like doing them. And also realizing what you do like and doing more of those things. So for instance, there's no, there's no reason to be in my office 24 seven. I'll just say this. I hate, I hate being in my office 24 seven. I love having one. I love working in here, but I hate being in here 24 seven and working because I wanted to leave my job because I wanted freedom and flexibility. One thing that I love, 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 love about law enforcement was I could be in my car, I could be driving around, I can go to McDonald's, I can pop myself at the gas station, I can go anywhere I want, really, well, in my limits, and still be at work. That's one thing I absolutely love, the freedom. Um, one thing I hated was being told when to clock in. <laughs> And when I could go home, essentially, based on like what my day looked like, I hated that. So similarly, in my new job, being a Sitsi consultant full time, I don't like to be told I have to come in here at 10 a.m. and I have to stay in here until three. So what do I do? I do less of that. I take my office mobile. I do it on my phone. I lay in my bed. I lay on the couch. I Netflix if I'm having a, you know, coffee somewhere on the porch or the back patio, maybe I'm doing it there. Um, I'm doing more of that stuff and not feeling like everything has to be robotic. And there are reasons to have systems in your business, systems as in routine things that you do every month, every week, every whatever, but there's nothing wrong with switching things up to make it work better for you. So, um, let me go ahead and not completely end my spiel, but I want Whitney and Chelsea and anybody else to come in here with really bomb tips. But my biggest thing for you guys is do not dwell. Don't dwell in what you could have done this year or what happened this year, or maybe you were eyeballing a promotion maybe you told yourself, I'm going to be a star consultant. I'm going to be a lead. I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to be a director. I'm going to be a star director or an SSD. And you were like, you know what? It didn't happen this year. And this, and this is acknowledge it. 
let it go, and then carry your mentality along with your work ethic into 2022. Carry a stronger mind and a stronger work ethic. And by work ethic, I mean a commitment, not just a work ethic, because we don't want to be robots in here. We want to have something that we're so committed to. We'll talk about that towards the end. I know Chelsea has a lot about um, words and vision boards and things like that that you guys can do. You can pick one or all, but hopefully it will keep you guys committed to what you want in your Sensi business. Um, not just your Sensi business, but your lifestyle. So without further ado, I've got Whitney coming up first with the practical tools that you can use in your Sensi business that you can look forward to using coming up um, in 2022. Yes, good morning. Um, I want to follow up real quick with what Melanie was saying when she was saying in 2021, she um, hit some, some collisions there for a bit. And I wanted to, um, I'm not going to hit on that for, for very long because I'm, I'm going to move into this, but um, I think that's very easy to do. And I think sometimes people don't see it when you're, especially when you're a leader and, and you have a whole team under you. I think that's, um, I think that's very hard for your team to see you hit walls sometimes. Um, I just moved and I don't have a house. I don't have a car. I'm living in my mom's room. My kids are, well, we're living in two separate rooms in my mom's house. So life is chaotic right now. We're living out of totes. I have my computer set up right here, my sample set up here. And I haven't, I haven't really touched my business in a hot minute because we've been just bouncing from family to family and seeing everybody. So um, I've been a little quiet in my, in my team and my business. And I think it's just a season I'm in and I'm going to snap back. But I think that it's just, if you feel like you've hit a roadblock, don't feel like you got to stay there. You're going to get out of it. Um, but just consistency in your business. I know I preach that all the time. Um, but consistency is, is literally what will make your business or break your business. Um, so just, just know that it happens. This is literally, I feel like the first season I've been through where I feel like I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Um, but I know me and I know that I will push through that. So, so just know that if you're going through something, you're not alone. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to say that because I feel like sometimes people look at us like we have it all put together and we don't have a care in the world and we've just got it all figured out, but just know that sometimes we don't. So, um, anyways, okay. There are two news or I think there's two, there might be multiple, but there's two big news articles in our workstation about kits and what you need that are coming out tomorrow. And I, I was gonna do a live in my group, in my team page, and it's kind of break them down because I feel like they can be confusing and you might start buying things that you might not need and you might not even want. And then you've spent money on something and you're like, what did I just buy? Um, so I kind of want to break those down just briefly. Um, he, here's the deal. These are going to launch at, I think it's 4 a.m. Eastern time um, in the morning. But double check your times because I'm, I'm on central time now where I was on Eastern time. So double check your time. Don't take my word for it. Um, so there is a transition tools kit that is new this year. We did, <clears throat> excuse me, we have not had this. This is $69 and this is a, this is a great thing that if you're like, what do I buy? What all do I buy? Well, they've broken it down for you now. And they, sorry, y'all. They've broken it down because last year what happened was things were selling out, like the stickers were selling out because those are like a hot item that everybody wants and needs. And those went quickly. <laughs> it's my mom. She's obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, the stickers went like crazy fast. Um, 
So they've broken it down and they're like, okay, what can, how can we make this easy for everybody? The kit. At first they were kind of, people were like in the, in our director's group, people were like, I don't know that this kit is the best deal. So they kind of went over it last night in the end of the month and Lacey confirmed that the stickers are two pages, 72 stickers each set and it's 10 packs. So it's all of the, the new fragrances. There's 10 spring and summer, 10 new fragrances and you get 72 stickers of each. So as a total, it's 720 stickers, which is a good deal. Um, the catalogs, there's 25 in a pack, product list, there's 50 in a pack, product training guide, which is essential for your business. I don't care what anybody says. I think that thing's like $2. If you don't buy the kit, grab that thing. Um, because that thing will like, if you, if you want to learn about your business, like, you need the product training guide. Somebody asks you something, you don't want to be like, uh, I don't know. Like you learn, if you have a nine to five, you learn about your business, right? Like this is what you need. You need the, tr the product training guide. Sure. You can go to workstation, which you need to be doing anyway, but the product training guide is like right there at your fingertips. I, I don't know how many times I looked in my product training guide last year because I love to know stuff. I don't like to have to be like, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. You know, like, and then never find out. Like, I like to know things about certain things. And it just makes you, it just sets you from a, a consultant that they can tell doesn't care and just is like here for the whatever versus a consultant that they are like, okay, they're legit about their business. Like they take this very seriously. I'm going to stick with them. There is a difference. That little $2 pamphlet or whatever, how much it costs is worth it. I promise. And I didn't think so. I heard somebody say like, get that, get that little thing. And I was like, so I got it. And I was like, I understand. Got it. And the transition testers come in it. What's the difference between a, a set of transition testers and a full set? If you have been doing this a hot minute and your testers are like a little wonky and you're like, it might be time for me to buy a whole set, this might not be the kit for you. Or it might be the kit for you and you just need to replace your testers that are looking a little crazy. Um, I've been doing this for a, a minute and my testers, I have never replaced my full set of testers. Um, but they're like a dollar and you can go through and be like, okay, I need to replace this black raspberry vanilla. Like it's looking a little funky or some of mine have like melted and you know, that's whatever. Um, but you will not get all of the testers from the, you know, that have, that came in your full kit when you join, you're only going to get the transition testers that are transitioning to, you know, spring and summer, um, or that are coming out in the spring and summer, like you're not going to get all of them. So if you think that your, your testers are shot and you need like a whole set, think about if this kits for you or not. And if you need to buy individual things, what comes in this kit, I think is a good deal. I think it's a good deal. I think it's smart that they like, broke it down and they've got it ready that you just type in what you need because here's the deal with with these launches first thing in the morning this stuff sells out the catalogs it just depends on how much how many they have normally those are pretty good about being there i love the product list sheets because they fold up i throw them in thank you mail and it's like a mini catalog those are so easy you can fold those up and throw them in an envelope and one stamp out the door i love those things I love those. Um, if you are wondering, like, do I need catalogs? Are you a, do you love to party online? You need them. You need them because I sent them to my host. I sent them in a host kit. You need those because what are they going to do? They're going to send, they're going to take them to their place. They work. They're going to take them to their gym. They're going to take them to their friends. They're going to take them to their mama. They're going to take them somewhere because yes, they have online and they have their link, but what do people like to do? They love stuff that's in their face, flipping through. You need those catalogs. Um, and the stickers are just great. The stickers are what sold out fast. 
last year and I'm hoping they have you know there's we have more product this year but we don't ever know so if you you know this is a good deal yes everything is on sale um you know individually but if you're like scared things are going to sell out grab this kit but just know what's best for you know what's best for you as far as the transition testers versus the testers you have to make that decision you know we can't make that for you um now the other um the other news article as far as the sales kits this is another thing that you need to be prepared and decide what you want to get if any of them the home kit is all of the little warmers that we not little but all of the warmers that they give us an opportunity to buy ahead of time um, it's big warmers it's mini warmers all together this is not available yet they didn't come in through customs yet we don't even have this available so don't look at that don't worry about that that'll be available at a different time don't worry about that it's 230 dollars don't even worry about that now last year the scent sales kit the, the new season sales kit or scent kit is the only thing i was able to snag everything else sold out like a flash i know carissa was able to get everything else because she obviously has magic and it happened but everything else gone it happens that fast now this year are they were they able to get more things because covid kind of you know took a halt not took a halt but like you know they were able to maybe get produce more i don't know we don't know this is how fast things go i'm not trying to scare anybody but i know how fast things went last year so know what you want be up be ready because this stuff is available while supplies last but is that while supplies last in the morning or while supplies last all month we don't know um these you get one you're available you're allowed to get one of each or while supplies last um so the new season sales kit is all the the new bars that are going to be available all 10 bars the laundry seasons um sales kit the clean the body and the pets if you're able to get all of them to make samples i suggest it you get prv for them you get to make samples um you know and then you're you're you've got all this prv on the first of the month um i don't get into tax write-offs and stuff i will never give tax advice that is not what we're allowed to do we can get in trouble for that but you know you can use that that can be used as tax write-offs if you're using it for samples um so keep that in mind so those are the two different uh that's breaking those two different articles down you have to figure out what you need for your business as far as the the business supplies and then you need to decide what kits you want from that other article as far as the the season sales kits um i suggest reading thoroughly through them and deciding what is best for you and going from there um the air okay and any any other thing you need for your business before the end of the year, which is today, I suggest getting it today. Anything you need, and again, I don't give tax advice, but anything you need for a tax write-off, do it today. Um, Cause it's the last day of the month or a year. Um, that's all I have on as, as far as the kits go. Um, again, I think that all that stuff is very vital in your business. Now, will you need more of it? I bought two sets of the catalogs last year. I didn't, because we moved, I didn't get through both sets. And so I'm gonna have to weigh for myself, like, you know, you just have to weigh and gauge what's best for your business. Nobody can make that decision for you, um, but that's up to you. Now, I'm not gonna get into, to next month too much but i do want to hit on this in case you didn't watch the live last night the air purifier is 10 percent off next month 
Um, the BBMB, the individual bars are not 10% off, but the bundles are 10% off. So that's good to know. Um, and that's all I have for the kids. And then I saw Carissa made a comment about she didn't like to do follow-ups um, because she felt like it was bothering people and um, she didn't like to, you know, to be that person or she, she felt like it made her feel like, you know, uh, she didn't want to be doing that. But I want to hit on that for a minute because I, I have felt that and I, and, I, and I think that's why it stood out to me because I have felt that it makes you feel like you're bothering them. Um, I think I have to get, I have to mentally get past that because sometimes I'll sit there and write an email and I'm like, if it's somebody I don't messenger, you know, I'm not on that level with them to message. I like, I have to mentally get past that because I'm like, okay, I have to follow up. I have to follow up with this person because A, I don't really know them or B, I do know them and I just still have to follow up because, you know, you obviously know that's important. Um, but you know, some people just don't like to be bothered. They just don't like to be bothered and you just know it and you can tell it, but it's part of your business. You know that you have to, um, but B, you don't want to miss an opportunity to build that relationship with someone just because you're worried about one person or, you know, how you feel with that one person. Like you don't want to like, you don't want to like burn a bridge with a potential relationship with somebody else, you know? Like you just, you got to get past that feeling of how that one person or multiple people even make you feel. You've got to get past that because I have to do it too. It is such an internal struggle, um, but you got to build that relationship with other people because, you know, I know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but it is so tough because, um, Follow-ups are just so vital in our business, and and I know you know that. I'm not, I mean, I'm I know you know that, but I know what you're saying with that. And all I can say is, just don't forget you got to build that relationship with the people that that will love it, you know. So, anyways, that's all I've got for. As far as Thank you, that scared me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I also want to kind of throw this in there too, because I was kind of answering as you were. I'm like trying to wipe off foundation off of my pants, BT dubs with counter clean. So, example of using your products in real time. And yes, I took a before picture while I was doing this. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, what I was going to say after you got done talking about this was going back to what we talked about with what don't you like about your business and what do you like about your business and figuring out how you can change this is realizing like the follow-up is definitely a big part of your success in your business, right? We know we got to do it. We know that it leads to better customer service, better sales, potential parties, potential hosts, potential sponsor, um, we know all of these things, but we got to figure out what we don't like about what we're saying, especially in that follow-up because nine out of 10 times when I hear somebody say, I don't like follow-ups is because they feel like they're being naggy, annoying, salesy, all the things, right? Um, <clears throat> so I set the standard from the beginning. And this is kind of what I was talking about with systems earlier is making sure that you do things routinely. Um, if you can get in the habit of when you connect with your customers, when you connect with your person from, you know, even if you don't know them, even if they bought from party, even if you do know them, if you can get into the habit of saying, Hey, I'm going to check back in on you or, Hey, your product has shipped. Uh, I'll check back in on you whenever it's delivered to make sure things are okay. When things get delivered, do you know, wait a day or two and say, Hey, just checking in. Was everything good? How'd you love it? What did you think of the new scent? Da -da -da -da, you know, this gives you, when you start saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to check in on you. Hey, I'll make sure things are okay. You set that expectation from the very beginning and they have that expectation. Now, here's where you have to follow through. 
if you tell people you're going to check in on them after they, you know, receive their items and you ghost them, you're going to be like, dang, that consultant didn't do her job. She said she was going to check in on me. I never heard from her again. I must have been just a number. So I like it because it holds me accountable for doing the follow-up, but it also doesn't make me feel like I'm nagging people. It makes me feel like I'm doing my job. It makes them understand that this is a part of my job is making sure that they're happy. Yes, makes customers feel like you're taking care of them. You've got to twist it, not just like block out, you know, your own mental thoughts because that's part of it. That's a real big part of it is getting out of your own mentality and telling yourself that you're being annoying and da da because that's, that's a lot of what stops people from the follow-up, but you have to make it to where you believe and your customers do know that what you're doing in this moment is providing next level customer service, gold star standard, not just nagging, 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 nagging. We, hey, I'm going to follow up with you to make sure your items, you know, or let you know um, when your things have shipped, because guess what? We all get an email, right? When our customer order ships. We get the tracking, we get the um, postal service, UPS, FedEx, all the things. So what I do is as soon as the email comes through, I will copy the tracking and I'll figure out who the carrier is and I'll figure out the expected delivery date and I'll say, hey, Susan, um, your order has just shipped through UPS. It's expected to arrive on Friday. I'm super excited for you. Here's your tracking. I'll make sure things come in okay um, after you get it. That's all. They don't have to respond to make me feel like I've done my job. You have to take that part out of your head too. If they don't respond, it's okay. Because how many times have we accidentally forgotten to respond to people? Oh God, I'm the queen of that. And then I'm like, oops, sorry. Um, it's been like 62 days. I'm finally seeing your message. Um, but it doesn't matter if you get the response, you're doing the job. You're following your pattern of success. You're like, you're following your system to good customer service, okay? And then when that thing delivers, you give them a day or two, hey, I'm just checking in or just checking in with you, seeing how everything was, did you love everything? Did you have a favorite scent? So I can write it down or you know, you keep notes on your customers. You can even, I think somebody mentioned if you put their, um, your customer's name in your phone, yeah, here, here we go. There's Aiden, we're just gonna use my son as my example. If you store your customer's number in your phone, which I recommend because it's easy for me to add notes, you can hit notes. I don't know, focus. Focus. Anyway, there's a notes section. So I can put like by the C. Or this is if you have an iPhone. I don't know about Android. I'm sure somebody can answer. Um, did not like blueberry cheesecake. I can write that down or did not like bakery so that the next time you check in with somebody or maybe even if you want to um, share like all the new BBMB scents and say, hey, um, there's a scent that I think you're going to love because it's similar to blah, blah, blah that you already love. You feel like you're building relationships and you're also remembering those little details that Walmart and Target, aside from you last purchased this item or you left your cart, you know, that kind of thing you're actually a human being that's tracking that and it goes so much further. But I hope that helps too with that one. I'm gonna shut up again and let Chelsea go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Chelsea's awesome. gonna bring us some mindset and goal mapping. Okay, so um, I have my notes right here, so I'm just going to just read from them. But basically, I was asked to talk about mindset, um, vision boards, mental growth, personal development, and picking a word to carry you into the new year and basically like set the theme for the new year. So if you've never done this before, um, I have done this for a lot of years. I think about what I want to focus in the next year. And then I really just have a word for the theme of how I want to show up for that entire year. So it doesn't need matter in January, like it's the entire, every single month for that entire year. My personal word for the next year for 2022 is progress. Um, I'm, I wrote like a little mission statement. So I wanted to 
read that to you guys. Um, basically, what I want to say is pick your word for the next year to lay out the theme of how you want to show up. Um, so my mission statement is instead of waiting for things to be perfect, because I am a huge perfectionist, I wait for things to be have all my ducks in a row before I go and do something, especially in my business. And I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to just show up imperfectly and get the thing done and move on from it. So instead of waiting for things to be perfect, I'm taking action and making progress every single day towards my goals. Um, other words, Melanie, I'm pretty sure it was Melanie. I went back and I looked and I couldn't find it, but on our team page, she made, she posted a list of words that you can choose from. I actually did some research on my favorite words that I think would be beneficial to you guys to pick if these resemble, like if you hear these words and you're like, wow, I want to start focusing. I want that to be the theme for next year. Um, consistent. So being more consistent in your business or in your everyday life, that means health goals, um, your business with your family, um, at your other job. So consistent progress, grit, balance if you want to balance more of being a i mean to be honest i'm a mom and it's very hard to balance no matter how hard you try but if you want to balance your regular job sensi your family life and you that's a word that you could do confidence if you want to become more confident dedicated and intentional um the next thing i want to talk about so i really want you guys today I'll make a post on our page to hold you guys accountable, but I really want to hear what words you guys choose. If you don't like the words that I just said, Melanie did post a graphic with like a hundred words that you guys can choose from. And I really just want to hear your word, but also your word and how you're going to apply that. So you can't just pick a word and then just be like, Oh, that's going to be my word. Like my mission statement is how I'm going to show up every single day. And I wrote that down. Um, the next thing is goal setting. So being intentional about your goals. So I see so often people make vision boards and on these vision boards, they write, be healthy. That's just setting yourself up to fail because how, what's healthy to you could be healthy to some, could not be healthy to someone else, or there's different versions of being healthy. You could eat broccoli for the first month of January and then you're technically healthy for like the year or someone like I really like to run. So my version of healthy is maybe running 13.1 miles, but to you, that might not be something that you consider that you want to do. So you really need to be intentional about how, so you want to be healthy. Okay. Let's dig into that. What, what do you want to do? That's healthy. Are you going to make, get a gym membership? Okay, what days of the week are you going to go to the gym if you're a busy mom? Okay, I put my daughter to bed at five. So that means that at 530, I am in my garage during working out. That's, that's what I do. You have to set a plan or else it's just, you're never going to achieve. It's such a vague thing. I actually didn't even write health goals down, but that was just something that came to mind. Um, the first thing I wrote is you could write on your vision board, work my business. Okay, well, following up with one customer is working your business. Are you going to follow up with one customer for the entire year and then just basically reach your goal? No. So you want to think about, okay, maybe some of you guys don't want to be directors, but you want to get to certified. Okay. Or lead. Maybe your biggest goal, and this is okay, is to get to lead. So the um leave rank leave the lead rank so you get to lead and how are you going to get to lead okay if you need one more person to be active get one more person to be on your team and get to the threshold of um i believe it's lead is i honestly can't remember what the, is it 2500 i'm pretty sure that's star or star is 6 000. anyways you have to think about 1000. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, sorry, my brain's mush. I don't have creamer for my coffee. So like, I'm just not enjoying my coffee right now. And by, by this time I normally have like two glasses. So any, okay. So whatever lead is, think about the GWV, regardless of what it is. I think you need one person to be active as lead. So if you don't have anyone on your team, your goal is how am I going to show up every single day to get someone to join my team? That might mean showing up and sharing your story on social media, um, 
talking about the Sensi opportunity, how Sensi has blessed your life, um, sharing the sharing how much you love our community and how we show up maybe post right now on a zoom like post a picture of us all talking right now and being like i love our community that could get other people interested so you have to take intentional steps and be very specific of the goals that you want so personally for me instead of work my business every single month for 2022 i want to get 2000 prv so that is a very solid thing that every single month I'm going to show up and get 2000. I know that that is what I want to achieve every month. And then I want to get a hundred new customers. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go and do things that I haven't done before and be intentional about reaching out to new customers. Maybe I have some people that I'm friends with that have never ordered from me. Maybe I'll send them like a scent circle or um, have a conversation with them to really get them interested in what sense they like and how I can serve them. Um, let me see if I can, I have all my goals written down, but just to give, give you guys some more ideas of not just Sensi, like I would love to hear about your goals just in general. So for me, I want to read 25 books. I love reading so that I want, there's cer certain things in my house that I want to redo. I want to pay off my car. I want to pay off my student loans and I won't give you the number about my student loans, but it's a very hefty number that I want to pay off next year to get my student loans taken care of. Um, I want to get a fence for my backyard because people are starting to build. So I want to have my dogs be able to run around. So showing up with my business to be able to pay for a fence, that is one just little things, just things like that. I would just love to hear what you guys' goals are. I won't bore you with my goals because <laughs> I'm sure that you're not interested in them. But also, the next thing I want to talk about is we already talked about the vision board thing. Maybe if you guys would be interested, I talked to Melanie about this. If you guys would like want to do a Zoom where we kind of just did our own thing with making vision boards. I would love to do that. If any of you guys are interested, let me know and we can like make a Zoom time where all of us just kind of get the stuff and we can just make, it could even be a whiteboard. If you have a small whiteboard with Expo markers and you could just write down your goals. But I really wanna preface the fact that when it comes to goal writing, don't make a vision board or set your goals down and then hide it. You need to put it in a place every single day that you can see so that you can look at that and be like, mm, am I making steps closer or else you're just going to forget about it. So this could be in your closet. It could be in your desk area. It could be, I, I mine's in my phone right now, but I'm going to put it um, on my wall that I see every day in my bedroom. And then I did talk a little bit about health, like physical health. And I feel like so many people want to go into the new year and be healthy physically but no one really talks about the things mentally that it's just as important if not more important for you to become more mentally healthy in your head so something that i do that i wanted to share with you guys is my morning routine this is the last thing i'm going to talk about and then i'll hand it back over to melanie i do this every single day so i work my business full time my Scentsy business is my full-time job, but I'm also a stay-at-home mom. So basically my entire day is revolving around grace. Um, this is something that I have to do every single day to feed, my, to pour into my cup before I do anything else for anybody, for my team, for anyone. So what I do is, this is brand new. I have not opened it up yet because I just got a new one for Christmas. But if you go on rachelhollis.com, I think that's her website, she has a book where every single day you write down today i'm grateful for and you write down five things that you're grateful for right here and then she explains this in, in this book too for you guys you're going to do 10 dreams i made happen as if they've already made happen so what i write for example is i am a director i one or i earned the elastin uh, the alaskan cruise incentive I paid off my student loans. I paid off my car. If you write that down every single day, 
it makes it sound like it had already happened. And then the universe, whatever you believe in, starts making it work for you. And subconsciously, you're starting to, if you see I, I, what you write down towards your goals, you're really going to want to start making that happen and make steps because you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to accomplish today. I'm going to get closer to my goals. She explains everything you need to do. If you forget what I'm talking about right now in the, in the book, if you purchase this, she talks about exactly how to do that um, in here in the first few pages. So if you purchase this, I promise you, you will not regret it. Then I read for 15 minutes a personal development book. I do not read a regular book. It has to be personal development. I've read over 30 to 35 personal development books this year just doing this. So one I recommend, if you need any book recommendations, let me know. I seriously have so many for you guys with whatever you wanna work on. Make some noise is what I'm reading right now. So I read for 15 minutes, personal development. I do this and then I have a planner, depending on what you guys like. I'm a visual person, I have to write things down. So I got this book, it is ser or this planner, it's like the best planner ever. Um, it is I'm trying to ivory paper co it's a little bit pricey but i honestly think it's like the regular price for um like planners planner wise and i'm obsessed with it because it goes day by day so like you write down everything for that entire day one page per day keeps you super accountable right up here it says schedule hourly and since i'm a mom like i need to be able to do that hourly time block to do's um things you're grateful for and then due date like things that are due that day that's really helpful for us being business owners um that's all i really have with you guys i hope it's helpful let me know if you have any questions um my instagram is underscore it's me chelsea and I would love to recommend anything or friend me on Facebook to help you. I love talking about this stuff. So just let me know. Thank you, Chelsea. Um, one of the things that I just wrote in the comment section that kind of like goes back to what Chelsea was talking about with like <clears throat> aligning yourself with the universe. And I know, okay, first of all, if you've never done this before, or you're just like maybe getting started and being a small business owner, or just maybe you've just never heard that, or maybe you have heard that and you've been like, man, these people are Looney Tunes, okay? I hear it all the time. I actually used to be that person that, uh, <laughs> I think the first time I ever got introduced to the law of attraction um, was like back in 2000, 11 10 i don't know i was really young and when somebody brought that up like idea up to me i was like <clears throat> you must be on a whole different planet than me because that's not how the real world works and i couldn't have been more wrong because that is how the world works um what you might notice in your everyday life is how many times have y'all been a victim of this day sucks this whole week sucks this whole month sucks i'm running late for work and when i'm running late for work i'm hitting all the traffic lights oh my god there's a car accident in the middle of the you know oh my gosh i just spilled coffee on my lap blah 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 things never seem to go right <clears throat> i know i have been and during that season where I talked about earlier, where I was like, just not doing anything. And um, I felt like I was just miserable mentally and all the things. All I was doing was aligning myself with that same struggle. Does that make sense? But as soon as I pivoted and said, no more, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to get out of here because tomorrow is going to be great. Yesterday, I laid out my yoga mat. <clears throat> I don't do yoga. I will put it out there. I've never done yoga. I've always hated the idea of yoga, but I knew I need something um, lately to kind of like relax me. And I've realized that I really love um, spa vibes. Of course, I like the spa, but I love clarity. I love spa music, darker rooms with like very little lighting. I love the essential oils and I love just 
kind of like a minute to like think to myself. So I laid out my yoga mat and I stretched because I don't know how to do yoga, but I stretched and I said to myself, um, I did my best today and that is enough. I said it over and over and over. I did my best today and that is enough. Did my best today and that is enough. And truthfully, I felt that. It could have been one of two things. It could have been, bam, chaotic. This season sucks. I mean, holidays, Thanksgiving, rolled into Christmas, rolled into, well, Thanksgiving, Black Friday shopping, rolled into being, you know, crazy for Christmas shopping, putting together the holiday season, blah, 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 blah. Then it's my husband's birthday. He just had his retirement from the army officially on the 28th. Um, today is his birthday and it's New Year's and oh my gosh, season's going to end and then I got to prepare for it. I could go into it like that, but I'm not. I'm simply saying I did my best yesterday. I did my best. I'm going to do my best again today and that is enough. And then I'm going to set this, the tone for January or tomorrow. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm not going to sit here and do nothing. I'm going to crush goals. I'm going to become an annual mentor. It's going to happen. Again, I'm going to hit annual sales. Again, it's going to happen. You just have to kind of realign yourself and direct yourself in that direction. I have way too many people come to me um, and they tell me, I'm not good at this, or I'm not a good salesperson, or um, I can't do this, or uh, you know, and it's like, you're right. You can't because you've already told yourself the most important voice in your head has already told you no. Think about that for a second. The most important voice in your head, yours and yours only, because you're living with yourself 24 seven has already told yourself no, that you're not capable. You know, you suck at this, but if you just change that voice, Think about all the things you can accomplish. There's a whole lot. Um, I also want to give time for other people to chime in and talk. Does anybody else want to, just feel free to unmute yourselves if you want to share a little bit. And then, I know, I have seen what um, Kimmy's letter board says and I love it. <laughs> what you focus on grows. And Chelsea wrote it down too. See, like-minded people, we always kind of mesh. <clears throat> Does anybody else want to share? Stephanie, okay. Let me unmute or spotlight you. Oh God, spotlight, okay. Okay, so many of you don't know me. I've been a little MIA, but life is life. I am Stephanie Pacheco. I'm a star director for Rolling Sense. Um, one of the things that I will tell you guys, try and leave a 2021 actions in 2021. Life happens and things happen. Um, Melanie was not the only one. Whitney was not the only one. Chelsea was not the only one. Everybody in this group has things happening. I literally, I'm getting medically retired as well. My husband is getting medically retired from the, from the military. So it's been crazy. Uh, we had to move from North Carolina to Alaska in, in about a month time frame. Then now we're moving from Alaska. We're moving back to Puerto Rico in maybe May time frame. It's, it's a learning process you may move from place to place but the good thing about all this is that your business is moving with you um and that it's good to be moving because you know more people i moved to alaska with the fear of i don't know anyone in here i don't have any local customers i'm gonna lose all my local customers in north carolina and that is the least that happened uh when i moved uh, to Alaska. All my North Carolina customers stayed with me and it's because the way I treat them, the way I follow up with them, the way I care for them, um, and the way I treat them. So just leave the negativity and all the bad things that happened in 2021, leave it in 2021 as, hey, this is what I learned from 2021. 
this is what I'm going to take away from 2021, but 2022 is going to be a new year where you're going to start from scratch. If you got to start something new, as in new business, meaning you're going to start with papers um, because you're going to start with your follow-up paper on papers, great. I started doing everything on paper in 2021 and I realized I moved too much because of the military. I am moving too much and I can't have paper. I have my phone with me 24 seven. I'm going to try and do it on my phone. So I just paid for the pro version of AIM, um, which was Maven before. And it is great. It tells you a to-do list of, of things that you can do. Like, things that you have to do. If you have a customer that buys from you, it tells you literally the next day, hey, follow up with your customer. They just made an order. It tells you the order, how much they bought, how much it costed and all the stuff. Um, how, how many orders they have done and everything. Really just leave 2021 where it was. I went through a season as well. That's why a lot of you haven't seen me before. My team went through a season as well everybody goes through it it is normal so don't let life bring you down because of that reason just bring yourself back up and smile through 2022 and show your customers that you're here for them and show your future teamies that this business is worth it show up in your in your Facebook, show up in your Instagram and show how Sensi is your happy place. Because if you show that Sensi is not your happy place, they're not going to want to join you because they're not, you're not happy. How are they going to be happy? If you're not showing how Sensi has blessed you, how are you going to think they're going to be blessed by this business? Um, so just show up for yourself more than anybody else and life will come back to you easy peasy but just smile at 2022 just leave 2021 as what it was take from it what you're gonna take from it and just leave it as it is i think that's it awesome yeah stephanie we have a lot to catch up on clearly because last time i talked to you you're like i'm gonna go to florida and I'm like I thought that's what you're doing in Florida was finding a new home to go to, but you know what? Puerto Rico, even cooler. Um, you get to go back home and be all around your teenies. It's going to be super exciting. Um, but I want to hit on something that she talked about with Amy. And uh, I'm not sure, maybe Stephanie said this, maybe she didn't, but I'm one of those people that used to hate Amy. Uh, I feel like a lot of us. I mean, Stephanie's like, yeah, it was me. Um, I'm also one of those people that used to be pen and paper only because you have to understand in your business too, um, it's constantly ever changing, right? We're constantly evolving. The really awesome part about your Cincy business, guys, is that you have the opportunity to change it. However, it, it needs to be changed to fit your life things that you like to do, things that fit your life better. Maybe your laptop crashed. Don't be like, man, a laptop's broken, it's crashed, so now I have to wait until I get a whole new one. You got a phone? Use your phone. Adapt, you, you know? Um, Whitney's talking about all the things happening in her life right now, y'all. Like, she just picked up and moved from North Carolina. She's living at home with her mom she's like this is horrible you know she doesn't have a car right now she doesn't have her own space to really work out of and she's like this is really chaotic um but you know first of all allow yourself to hate have your chaos there's nothing wrong with that we all are gonna i'm not gonna lie we're all gonna freak out because i sure did when i moved i was like oh god um this is bad and i moved back home i moved back to my hometown where you would think that like everybody would be buying from me, but no, that's not true. I mean, I do, I have local customers, but like when I first moved back to my hometown, I was like, man, everybody's going to buy from me. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah. And Kimmy moved back. I think Kimmy was even pregnant from North Carolina to California at the time. And it was crazy, but you kind of have to figure out, you know, how you're going to do things differently. Like, what are you going to do? to make it easier for you. 
And you have to realize that things might not always be as they were. If you were a pen and paper person and maybe pen and paper just isn't working for you anymore, don't feel like you have to stay pen and paper. You can change it. It's gonna require you to learn. It's gonna require you to learn. Whitney's like, <clears throat> I hate this. <laughs> She's like, I hate technology. But it's gonna require you to learn and play and you know do things out of your comfort zone. But if you don't evolve, your business will evolve without you. And if you refuse to evolve, then your business grows and you don't, you will bury yourself and dig that grave even deeper because you're not willing to learn and change. Oh God, I don't know if y'all saw my husband coming through earlier. He was doing all kinds of crazy dances. And I was like, can you not, not right now? Um, people are training and you're dancing. What in the world? Again, um, it's okay. It's his birthday today, so he can have he can have the spotlight. But uh, be willing to evolve. Be willing to learn. Before I get off of here, I mean, I'm still gonna have room for people to talk. I'm gonna say one final thing: is it's 2021, about to be 2022, or maybe it's 2022 when you're watching this, but it's 2021. There's no such thing as a lack of resource. If you don't know something, if you don't know something, there is all kinds of ways to learn. YouTube trainings, if not for me, then we have an entire group. You've got um, Workstation, you've got Google. You can align yourself with people. You can connect on Instagram, you can connect on Facebook. Um, aligning yourself with people that are like-minded, like what we're doing here, right? Showing up training. This is part of like doing things for you so that you can be better at what you wanna be better at. There we go, Stephanie Pacheco has a freaking Spanish YouTube for people who speak Spanish only. So there we go. I'm sure there's probably one or two more Spanish speaking consultants too. They're like, if you speak Spanish, come watch our channel. Um, I'll train you in Spanish. I think I've even gotten with Stephanie at one point. I was like, I have a Spanish speaking potential person. Um, can I send them your training? <laughs> Actually, I have done that before. And she, yeah, that's what we're here for. So there's so many ways to learn. But I know it's been an hour. I want to see if anybody else wants to just come on here and just share a little bit of your wisdom. Hey, I'll be here. I'm, if I'm not right here at my computer, I'll have it recorded on my computer and then I'll go on my phone and go mobile because that's what I just did. Um, so does anybody else want to share a little tidbit of your heart, carry us into the new year, anybody? Nobody? Okay. All right. That's okay. Um, Thank you guys so, so very much. I am so excited for the new year to come. Um, I will probably sign out. I know I said that I was gonna do it like a week ago, but I wanted to get through all of this new season stuff. There is a couple of new awards that I'm gonna be doing for our team going forward annually. I think Sensi does a lot of great things for you. They have a billion and five different awards not a billion five, but you know, we do awards, we do incentives, your commission is your incentive, um, in, instead of trips. But I really wanted to do something super special for our team as well. And I wanted to do um, a top PRV award, I wanted to do top sponsor award, and I really wanted to do an award that is dedicated to a warrior shining star, because we obviously know about the Cincy Shining Star Award, it's the biggest one in Cincy. But I really wanted to pick somebody well, I wanted you guys, not me. I wanted you guys to pick somebody within our entire group, whether it's your sponsor or somebody that you admire, a mentor in your sense of community. That is not me. Do not put my name in the ballot because I will tell you guys I'm not gifting myself an award. Um, doll. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> weird. <laughs> but I want you guys to vote for up to three people, I would say and nominate your people and this way i can award them and we can do an award ceremony like we did last well no like we did this year remember 
remember the burn your fears and you know all that stuff that we did we might do that again for 2022 so it'll be exciting um but anyway guys my mom is here and she's like let's go to the asian market so i gotta take her <clears throat> so love you guys have a fantastic new year and thank you for being here bye oh wait stay put picture there's more people on now <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, what? Hold on. All right. One, two, and three. Okay, okay. Love y'all. Bye.